Hey guys, this is Elena Alsworth. Thank you so much for joining me today. Some of you may know me at Elena Rose 620 on Instagram. I wanted to pause and take a moment and thank you to those of you who have recently subscribed and also extend a thank you to those of you who have left such positive encouragement and compliments to me on my channel. Today, I'm very excited to share with you guys four different ab variations that I love to use in training. Brian does an amazing job at programming in core work and ab variations throughout the giant set of the programs. Pretty much every program we do has a core variation within. This past weekend, I was inspired because Brian had posted a choose your own adventure, strongman conditioning. So Friday and Saturday, I like destroyed myself with every minute on the minute strongman workouts. If you haven't tried that before, go for it. They are incredible. It's funny because my friend Emily and I decided to take a break and we decided to do a ad variation every minute on the minute. And from there, I am still sore like three days later. So I thought that maybe I would share that with you guys doing some ad variations every minute on the minute because there are so many different ways to do abs and um, I just wanted to share a few of mine. What I did was I just took four ab workouts. So if you only have 10 minutes, it's perfect because you can get really sore and get a great workout in 10 minutes. You got 20 minutes, same type of thing. Guaranteed, you will definitely feel them. I'm still feeling them three days later after my friend Emily and I did this. So very excited to share these with you guys. Here we go. The first ab variation is toes to bar. So you set your clock to 10 minutes, you find a pull-up bar and then you begin to hang from it. You can slide a bench under there if your bar is really tall. And then you wanna decide on your grip. You can hold a neutral grip or an overhand grip. I like to choose usually to use an overhand grip. So I'm gonna hang from overhand grip and begin to bring my toes all the way up to the bar. You're gonna need a little bit of momentum to get started. And then you can either go really fast, that's a pretty advanced version. You can slow it down and do one at a time where you kind of pause at the bottom, regain your um, balance and coordination and then bring those feet on back up. Or you could go to more of a uh, beginner intermediate where you're bringing your legs most of the way up. Your legs are slightly bent, but you're still really feeling those abs come together, especially the lower abs. Then there's a beginner um, option where you can bring your, your knees up to your chest, and that way works great too. You're still gonna feel it. It's gonna be a great workout. And then uh, the, the most um, beginner version could be where you just stop and start each time, especially if you can't hold on to that bar. A lot of people struggle holding onto the bar for 10 reps. That's why I chose 10 reps because it's a challenge. So if you need to do five, stop, and then do the next five, that's also a great way to do it. Um, to make this really hard, you could add more reps on the minute, but right now try to do 10 reps within the minute, every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. Have a great time with this. This will also work your grip strength and it's gonna make you work on um, being balanced and coordinated as well as breathing and bracing. Go have fun with this. The second ab variation I'm gonna share with you guys is the weighted plank. Now, many of you have probably done probably done planks before. One time uh, here, we had to do a 10 minute plank. That was terrible, so we're not gonna do that. Um, but one way to increase the um, intensity of a plank is to do every minute on the minute, 30 seconds of planking with a weight on your back. I know this sounds a little funny, but try it and see what happens. I like to use a 25 pound plate. If you don't have a friend with you, you gotta put it on yourself. But if you do have a friend, they can put it right on the middle of your back. And what this is gonna cue your body to do is going to breathe and brace. So you're going to get into that plank position. You could do it on your elbows. I like to be up on my hands personally. Take a deep belly breath, abs tight, put that weight on and hold hold. <laughs> you hold for about 30 seconds, then you take a break, and then you get right back into it. And that for 10 minutes is extremely difficult. It's going to wear out your entire core, but it's also going to cue your mind to breathe and brace. To scale the weighted plank, what you can do is just take that weight off and just use your body weight as the plank. Another way you can make it easier is shorten the time, 15 seconds instead of 30. Also, if you want to make this harder, you can add more weight and more time, like more seconds. Instead of doing 30 seconds every minute on the minute, you can do 45 seconds. Um, that's ab variation number two. The third ab variation that I wanted to share with you guys is the V sit up. The V sit up is awesome. I think it's one of the things that works my abs the most with my body weight. So there's a couple different ways that you can do the V sit up, but I'm gonna share with you guys just the way that I begin to teach people how to do it and then the most advanced version that I can do myself. The V sit up should start out flat and then you should be able to come together where your toes and your, your hands hands touch. Your head should be neutral and forward and you should be looking towards your toes as they come up to you. 
Balance is the hardest part of this exercise, in my opinion. So if you're also looking to work on balance and coordination, this is a wonderful exercise for you. So you're gonna do 10 reps every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. So if you, if you can't do that full V, what you're gonna do is start off with an assisted V. You're gonna take your hands, put them behind your back, and then kind of bring your chest towards your knees. And so that is the easiest way to do the V sit up. It's going to work again on balance and coordination. You're also going to feel this throughout your whole core. And then another, so then the next way you can make this a little bit harder, the intermediate version is take your hands away. Don't assist with balance anymore. Go ahead and bring your chest to your knees, kind of um, going out into a straight flat position and then coming back in together, touching your chest to your knees. And then once you get that down, what you could be able to do is use your hands as well. Arms go up, they're gonna touch your toes. When you come all the way up, that is a full V sit up. These are difficult, but you can work your way up to that full V every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. So the next variation that I wanted to share with you guys is the glute ham raise halos. This started out being just a regular halo and I'll show you what that looks like is you're just taking a 10 pound plate and rotating it around your head, touching hip to hip. This is kind of the same idea. You sit down in the glute ham raise, adjust it for your height. That's a whole nother video and then lower yourself down slowly and kind of rotate from side to side in a little half circle. To make it a little bit harder, you're, you put your hands behind your head and you hold a weight. And then what you're gonna do is keep your chest up high, rotate down to the right and up to the left. So you're gonna tap your kind of elbow to your left knee and then you're gonna rotate back around with the weight behind your head, really feeling it in your obliques all the way to the right side, tap that right elbow to that knee and then continue. So you're gonna do that a total of 10 times every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. I'd say that this is probably the most difficult one. If you do everything correctly, you can use a five pound weight, a 10 pound weight. If this is too hard for you, use no weight. If it's really too hard for you, just do the sit-ups. You don't have to do the rotation, but I'd say the rotation really, really works your core and it also strengthens your upper back. The goal is 10 reps every minute on the minute. Go have fun. The next ad variation that I wanted to share with you guys is the hollow rack. Now hollow racks are Awesome, we use them a lot at Never Say and in Brian's programs, you'll see them a lot. They're a really good way to get your breathing more under control after a heavy lift and also be able to focus really um, intensely on the ab and core work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie down flat, you're gonna put your arms behind your head above by your ears actually, and then you're going to start pivoting and rocking on your lower back, upper butt area. You're gonna go 10 reps every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, and different ways to modify that. Instead of having your arms behind your head, you can bring your elbows down um, kind of chest level, and when you get tired, I know for me, that is the modification that I use, or you can decrease your reps. If 10 reps is too easy for you, of course, increase the reps to like 15 or 20. Remember, you're going off of a rep scheme here. You're supposed to be rocking back and forth extremely smoothly, and also working on bringing your breathing down under control. One of the things that's important in lifting is knowing how to regain your breath and being able to keep that under control as you perform. Thank you so much for joining me for this ab variation. Go out and try the hollow rack. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this ab variation training video. I hope this was helpful to you and you can incorporate it not only in your giant set in your program, but also if you only have 10 minutes or 20 minutes, you can really get a good workout in. I really hope this was helpful. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. I am happy to share more. Thank you so much for joining me. Have an amazing day.